Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today what I want to show you is it's an update on one of our, our favorite apps. It's one of our applications called West, our workflow enhancement suite. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the interface has changed. Over the last little while, we have changed the way it operates or looks. It still has the same function, but in a much sleeker and easier way to do those functions. And so in this video, I'm going to tag along with Tom's video linked here, and I'm going to show you the new and updated way to do what he's showing. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys and feel free to check out our app. Okay, so in today's scenario, as I said, you can watch Tom's video for a more in-depth explanation, but here's a common example that people have. When a deal is closed one, mark all the people attached to the deal, all the contacts, or maybe it's all the sales orders or all the invoices or whatever, anything attached on the related list side, mark them all as, in this case, a contact, mark it as a client. So you might have a contact status inside of the contact and we can auto change that to client. And there could be two contacts, there could be 50 contacts, it will work either way. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new UI of our West tool. So I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna create a new workflow in the deal module. And so in this case, I'm gonna say, based on a record action, based on edit, based on the stage, and we're going to say when it's modified to the value of closed one, right? So now this is just basic workflow definition and you can watch some of my other videos. There's going to be a link here to learn how to build out workflows, but now I'm going to come here. So now I've said when the stage is closed one, when I go to custom actions, I'm going to choose advanced field update, which is our tool. And you'll see now that it looks a bit different than in Tom's video. And so here you can see that you can, we have two options, update fields or some or count related records. So in this case, what I want to do is update fields. I want to update fields on the contact. So I'm going to click that. Now it says, okay, where do you want to update? Where would you like to update fields? So you could do it on the current record or you could do it on anything attached. And keep in mind, like for example, client name, you could see look up here. But then in this case, client roles is the related list. So keep that in mind. We've seen some clients mess this up where the lookup, this is just the main contact. This is all the contacts attached. And you know that by related list versus lookup. So I'm going to choose the related list. And now it says, okay, what field do you want to update? I'm going to say status. And I'm going to say based on another field. And I'm going to pull that field from the deal. Now, you don't have to. You could do this. You could go to a specific value. And you could just say, make it all client. And so now what's gonna happen is when the deal is closed, it's gonna find all contacts attached and mark them as a client. You can see here that we have a little notification here. You can revert to the old merge tag layout. We have an old way of doing this, or you can do two specific fields like this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, the other neat thing you can do that's new here is you can also add conditions. So you can actually say update all contacts attached only if their email is not empty for example. So now it's going to find all the people attached to the deal. If they have an email, it'll update them. If they don't have an email, it won't, right? So this is a more advanced feature that you can use if you want. You don't have to use it. And then you go ahead and hit save and you name it. That in a nutshell is basically how you use our new UI to update related records. Thanks for watching.